Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword HD, and if you remember, we are in a tense, uh, lockdown with Mr. What's your name, sir? Good end. <laughs> I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. <laughs> yeah, here you are. Not in pieces. <laughs> Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just... Girl, what matters now? And I can sense her here just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Let me introduce myself. I am the demon lord who resides over this land you look down upon, this world you call the surface. You may call me Kiram. In truth, I am very much prefer to be indulged by my full title, Lord Gearham, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> Did you really just draw your sword? <laughs> Foolish boy. <laughs> <laughs> By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. <laughs> she was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. <laughs> Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? <laughs> Fur furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! <laughs> this turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it, it hardly seems fair be, being of my position to take all of my anger out on you, which is why I promise up front not to, not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy is freaking sick. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Demon Lord, uh, Lord. Demon Lord, get yeah, him. Uh, sir. You gotta like make him think you're gonna attack from one way and then attack from a different direction, which was insanely hard to do on the Wii. <laughs> attack from the left. I'm gonna attack from the left. I'm gonna attack from the bottom left. So like, walk up to him, walk up to him with your sword in the bottom right, attack from the bottom, or the top right, bottom right, Remember, I don't have a shield right now. Give me some 
some hearts. Give me some hearts. Because again, I don't have a shield. <laughs> I broke it for over dumb crap. Come here, buddy. Find some health. Get it, get it, get it, get the, get the heart. Bro. No time to be trying to climb walls. Don't be flexing on the guy. He's literally. That tornado stirred up with a toss and turn your part. Yeah. Oh. Alright, yeah, to be honest, I thought that maybe that was dialogue for if you have to fight him a second time. I guess not. So, I guess you can skip that. Yeah, 
like you're going from one direction, you just spam the other direction. Come charging at you and attack. Well, put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. Fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence is all but faded from this place. It means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though. You're dead. <laughs> you know, not many games. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me, but the amount of games that are like deemed appropriate that even talk about the concept of killing has gone so far down. Like now you don't even die in games. But we got a hard container. <laughs> so, let's take in the room a little bit. Oh, those are fish. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. <laughs> Does it just do it on any of or just the broken ones? <laughs> just the broken ones. Alright, well. 
still didn't know that. That's kind of cool, I guess. I know the rest of y'all, or at least a large group of you are thinking, all right, what is that? Let's see, let's go, finish this up. But me and a few select, a select few viewers saw this and won't let it. Okay. If you hit that green light, I guess that means, uh, means end, but yeah, this is what I was talking about. If they added something else on top of here, oh, it's so cool. But, I had to get Yes, you can stab this. And if you are really good out in the wild, if you knock it off a tree, you can stab it while it is falling and do the exact same thing. But if you're not as good, you can just knock it into the water and stab it while it's Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate it for you. In the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's message. Mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring, the other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. Spirit Maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, 
is set out for the second sacred place. You got the ruby tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Yeah, what do you want? What do you think I want? You know where it goes. <laughs> Put it in the hole. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I know what you're saying. Bottle it and sell it, right? No. Get your head out of the gutter, Jay. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light <sighs> on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area, continue search for Zelda, blah blah. blah. Put the the put the tablet where you put the other one, and another beam of light will ha will show up, and then you can go to that place too. That's that's the gist of that. What up, Maki? Hey, it's me, Queen. Did you find the girl? Not yet. Oh, that's too bad. But it sounds like you at least know where you need to search next for Queen. That's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kui. Yeah. Any luck? Hopefully you'll find the girl you've been searching for real soon. Go, go. Take care, okay? Dude, you're too nice. Maybe I just grew up in like a weird, like really, really just awful place. <laughs> but people aren't nice where I'm from. Like that's just, and whenever like, like when I go to, like my... I don't work in the same city that I live in, uh, which will hopefully be changing soon because I'm trying to move closer to where my, I don't want to say day job because I work nights, uh, but it's a good job, alright, and I'd rather live closer. <laughs> but the place that I do live and also where I grew up is just... People just are the worst people. <laughs> I don't even know how to... They're just the worst people, bro. Like, you need very, very thick skin to live here. Before I go back up to the clouds, um, I am going to do a quick sweep of the area, make sure I got all of the goddess cubes, and um, we'll just try and like make sure we get everything that we can get in this area before we go trying to open up Elden. So I will do that. So here's one of the goddess cues we couldn't get before. Let's see if we can somehow trick the game into thinking that we got up here. Not looking like it. Maybe the only way up here is with the hook shot, but we'll keep looking. Okay, so here's something that's never happened before. One of those crows just came by and pooped on my head. Is it like slowly taking away my health? Like what's the point of it? Oh, I... It's decreasing my stamina. 
<laughs> wow. It's taking away like my oxygen. Dude, that is so weird. I've never seen that. Well, there's that. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure that is all of the goddess cubes that are currently available to us. So, before we end up the episode, we will go back to the sky. And... Master James. When you hit that goddess cue with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. The location I marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Cool. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. Alright, well, if she advises it, then we better do it. I would kind of like to check out this one way off in the distance. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, so... By striking one of those cubes, we have unlocked and... purpleized this gray chest and got us a piece of heart and if you ask me that is a pretty good way to end off the episode thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the legend of zelda cover toward hd and um if you had fun hit the like button i had fun it's uh i've d i've done the last three videos on one night so i am getting tired but don't mistake my, um, you know, my lethargy and, and, I don't know, I, I, I'm not even awake enough to come up with a smart word. Point is, is, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Uh, once again, if you liked, uh, please leave a like, I do appreciate it. Gives me a little bit of a pat on the back. Keep it going, James. Um, and it helps the video. Even if you want to dislike the video, I don't care because YouTube sees it the same way. So um, if you are a hater and you just and you just want to cause trouble, uh, honestly, the best thing you can do is is not do anything because if you leave a dislike you're actually still helping me YouTube doesn't recognize the difference so interaction is positive so to to leave a negative impact the best thing and really only thing to do is to not leave an impact at all don't leave an impression don't acknowledge that you were on the the video, viewing the video at all, in any way. Any kind of interaction is only going to help me and it's only going to make YouTube recommend more of my videos to you. So, not that I've had haters um, that I know of because I usually have YouTube get rid of those, but I'm not scared of a little hate and to be honest, I don't get it. But if you were to leave it on mine or anyone else's, just, you know, word to the wise, the best thing to do is nothing because doing anything is only helping the creator that you are trying to bring down. And with that, I will see you guys next time. I've been Nate Asher. Bye.